Hi, my name is Bill, and this is The Finest Travel Beat with Angela and Bill, your source for all things travel. Today we take you on a balcony stateroom tour of room 9257 on the Norwegian Sky, which we sailed on this past weekend. We'll show you around, tell you what we thought of the room, and uh, you can be the judge of the size of the bathroom for yourself at the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoy the content and you learn something from it. Hi again and thanks for watching. Before we get into the video, we want to show you there's a little kind of wheel thingy outside the stateroom where you can let the stateroom attendant know whether you don't want to be disturbed, whether you want the room to be cleared up, or uh, just the welcome sign on board. That was kind of a neat feature. As we walk in through the room, the video won't be long because the room is fairly small, as you can see. The Norwegian Sky was built back in 1999. It was originally ordered by uh, Costa Cruise Lines, which is an Italian cruise line. A lot of the European cruise lines are notorious for having smaller rooms. And due to issues at the shipbuilding factory, uh, Costa did not take delivery of the ship. It was actually taken and purchased by NCL to a different shipyard, and the construction was finished at that shipyard. We were actually originally going to have an ocean view cabin, and we want a bid upgrade to the balcony stateroom. The balcony stateroom here comes in at a lean 154 square feet, which is actually uh, very small for a balcony, one of the smallest ones we've been on. Now, this room is billed as being uh, capable of having four people in it. I would not put four people in it. My wife and I, Angela, with two of us and a little bit of luggage, had a little bit of a challenge trying to working around it. It was not a huge room. Uh, the safety, as you can see here, has some water in it. That is an additional charge. Also, to let you know, before your last night, if you're storing anything in there, take it out because they will lock the safe uh, to uh, see if there's any bini bar purchase on your last evening. Also, may be sure to notice that there's only one outlet in the entire room, which is by the desk, which is a small desk as well. So make sure you're bringing uh, uh, a uh, extension cord that does not have a surge protector and plenty of outlets so you can charge your things and run it across the room. We are now in the bathroom. The bathroom was a challenge. Uh, definitely the smallest bathroom that I've ever been in on a cruise ship. Uh, shower was very tough on a big guy like myself. The bed was comfortable. We got good night's sleeps there. Uh, the closet space wasn't bad. There was a decent amount of closet space. Would have liked a little more shelving, but the, the closet space was pretty good. The ship also went to dry dock February 2022. So... Uh, the rooms were pretty updated. the the uh, The decor could have been a little bit more, uh, a little more fresh, a little bit newer, but it was fine. Uh, the safe worked fine. The television worked worked without any issues. There is a small couch. Uh, I guess could sit two people on it. We ended up using it for luggage because there really wasn't a lot of space. There's also a very small desk with uh, a little tiny stool that you kind of sit on to do makeup or whatever. Balcony was okay. Uh, the chairs were comfortable enough. The table was a very, very small table. Really not functional for anything other than just keeping a coffee on or something like that. Uh, there is an overhang, so if it rains a little bit, I'll protect you a little bit. Not too bad. Uh, quite honestly, for a three-night cruise like we did or a four-night cruise, it was, it was no problem. If we were doing a seven-night or longer cruise or we had uh, a third or fourth person with us, even children, it would have been tight. It would have been... Uh, been uh, a struggle. Uh, we had to actually uh, kind of get changed and the other one had to scram because it was a little tight in there. And now we'll hear from Angela and see what her thoughts are. So Angela, how small is this cabin? This is the smallest cabin I've ever been in. I think my closet at home is about the same size. But how small is it? It's so small that the alarm <laughs> that Angela calls it the alarm that is actually a shower curtain transverses directly across the bathroom so you can dry your bathing suits as you're on the bowl 
it's that small. Well, on behalf of Angel, we'd like to thank you for watching. We'd love to hear your comments down below what you thought of the stateroom. If you've been in a smaller balcony stateroom than this, or a smaller airplane bathroom, uh, definitely want to hear your comments, what your thoughts are of the room. If you've enjoyed this content, please hit that like button. We'd really appreciate it. And if you want to see more content like this, and other cruise news, travel news, uh, and information, definitely hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on any notifications, and hit that notification bell as well. Again, thanks for watching. This is the Finest Travel Beat with Angela and Bill. And until next time, we will see you on our next adventure.